Hello everybody, and this is gonna be my chapter 4 tutorial for Mirror's Edge. Alright, so first off, there's a few different ways to do this first area. What I recommend doing is just trying to get over this electric fence. And what you can do is just, well, climb up this, turn jump out, just barely touch the electric fence and sidestep on top of that vent. That's like where you wanna get to, so... Just like that, and remember, you're always steering your sidestep with your camera angle. So, whenever you're landing on that, you wanna be looking like, like this, just so that the sidestep lands you there. Right, so from top of here, just wall run on that, wall climb this, turn jump, and again, steer yourself with the strafing key. Get over here, wall climb, turn jump on that. And just hop along your merry way. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna actually. This is the one time where I'm gonna be showing you two strats. I'm gonna be showing you a super safe strat and a slightly harder, but like a bunch faster version. But even this one isn't that hard, so I'd recommend just trying this out at first. So, what you do is you wall climb. Side jump, wall boost. Just like that. It's quite simple, but it can be a bit finicky because of the limited wall space you have there, basically. Because you only have, like, the security camera is kind of blocking you and whatnot, so... Also, what a lot of people do is they try to turn into the wall super hard, which sometimes, which sometimes kind of bugs it out. And a lot of people also try to like boost too early and keep like wanking their camera around. For this one, you just want to keep it quite steady, and then at the end, just steer yourself with the strafe key and maybe look a little bit over the fence. Right, so from top of here, you want to be sliding kind of into this corner. It's not too precise, but uh, yeah, this corner is where you want to be sliding into. And you want to be looking at the middle of these two things. It's like a line of white dots, line of black dots. You want to be looking at the middle if you're going straight into the hole or the corner. So yeah, just something like this. And once you're at the bottom of the street level, pause, and then unpause and pause again. You'll see the objective has now changed. That means I hit the checkpoint, but now I gotta hit the low trigger, which is there. And stuff loads. Once you see anything be black under you, you can just unpause and you will die. And then you spawn here. Now I'm gonna show the other way of doing the same skip, which is a little bit easier. Right, so then the other way of doing the skip is by doing a roll. And normally when you drop down there, you would die. But if you roll from the very corner, uh, the roll will actually cancel enough of the fall that you won't die there. Uh, basically how that works is that there is the same same kind of invisible platform that spawns under you whenever you're doing a kick glitch. Like it's just something related to the animations and how they work. But it stays there for one frame afterwards. So it kind of kills your fall just a tiny bit. And that's enough for you to survive. So just aim at the very corner and then look to the right basically a lot. If you uh, land too deep, the roll doesn't go low enough before the invisible platform spawns and then you'll still die here. So just aim at the very, very corner. Alright, then what you wanna do is you wanna drop down, you can like find your walk toggle key, minus that shift. 
That's normally where the coil would be, and I guess warp toggle would be at like control. Then I, I don't know how this game works. Then just drop down, and well, you can hold W and D before or after. Doesn't matter. And what I like to do is just turn my camera like this, so I see myself better. All right, horse buffer. Got the checkpoint, and the stuff loads in. And then you just die on the on the floor here, same as the other method. Right, and this black box in the distance is where we're headed. Uh, kind of annoying thing about this game is that if you move your mouse during the loading screen there, after you're dead, you could be facing like some random direction. So if that's the case, you can pretty easily still find like this black rectangle shape in the distance. Just sidestep towards it, do some bunny hopping, fall down, roll, and if you want to be safe, you'll just be doing this. Boosting on those, and then waiting until the train passes, which it just did. Boosting on these, then here, wall run, wall climb, and side jump. Annoying thing about this is that this pipe is right there, so you need to aim just a little bit off of the wall. Just like that. Then here, space, then W later. And that way you'll get like no climb up there. Right. Take all the steps you can towards that vent and then slide in. You can't get off a sidestep there, so don't try. Um, you land here, punch the door in, run here. Pretty simple stuff. Coil on this railing, turn jump, punch the door in, hit the button, vault the railing. Uh, the annoying thing about this railing is that if you try to vault it like here, at the corner it can do this I have no idea what that's about it's probably because this ceiling is so low here but usually if you just go like that like vault it kind of at the corner it works you just don't try to do it there otherwise that happens right uh, so normally, you'd, if you'd get here like at a decent speed, you'd be at a situation like right now. So uh, just run, wait until you hear the horn of the train. There you go, and jump and coil off to the side. And the guard got wrecked. Quite hard here. That's good. Right, so then you'd like get about here. To your left is this like. I don't know. Kinda hole in the wall. You just go in there. Wall run. Wall climb. Turn jump here. And here you can jump into a wall boost on that, or you can just jump onto the. Jump onto the pipe there. Punch that door in. Bolt this. Bolt that. Uh, I guess optimally here you would. While vaulting this, you'd land on that railing a little bit. And then just slide in like that. Instead of having to like double vault. So just try to like. Steer yourself during the vault a little bit. Then just slide down here. Uh, two ways of doing this. The easiest way is to just turn jump on the wall. Right around the vent. Like just a tiny bit to the right of the vent. 
you'll climb that and you'll get up here then you can just kick glitch across and hit the button the other way which is uh, maybe a little bit harder but not by much is just do this uh, basically the annoying part about this is that this pipe is right here so you gotta kind of run past it before you try to jump into a war run So you can try that. If you can't get that, just take the pipe. It's only like half a second or so. Now, hit this. Just get over here. Uh, what I like to do is just stand here, wait until this fan stops, and then sidestep into here and slide. Right. Then you just drop onto the train, and there is absolutely nothing to explain here, so I'm gonna be cutting this part out. Right, so at the end of the train ride, just go to the right ledge and try to hit the sign. And after hitting the sign, you can just punch the door in, jump up the stairs, and that's the end of the chapter.